Goldman. I'm Sonia, the founder of Orbis 86. And with me, I have Forbes 30 under 30, also an eligible bachelor, Nikhil Vishwanathan. And Nikhil is the founder of Alchemy, the AWS for Web3 companies. Nikhil, uh, our audience, yeah. they're actually Web3 native audiences. So I'm going to yeah. ask you a few questions totally. about what can we expect coming out of Alchemy over the uh -huh. next three to five years. I am very interested in also hearing about Alchemy's integrations yeah. with some of the new age non-EVM chains as well. So yeah. we could talk about both. Totally. Love to hear from you. Uh, that's a great question. So um, kind, of, kind of backing up maybe the way we think about our business is there's like three big shifts in technology in the last hundred years, computer, internet, and Web3. Each one had a platform that powered it. So a developer platform. So for the computer, that was Windows and Mac, like the operating systems. And what that let you do was build applications on top. So for example, the no things we know as a computer today, Excel, Word, Chrome, these kind of things, these kind of applications were all built on Windows and Mac, right? For the internet, there's a business that you've heard of that uh, you've never heard of called Amazon, uh, which is, uh, has two businesses. It has the shopping business, which we all know, but we also have a, or sorry, Amazon also has this, this thing called Amazon Web Services, which is basically, um, the back-end technology that powers all of the apps on the internet, Uber, Airbnb, DoorDash, every time you use that, it's all those computers are run by Amazon. So the way we like to think about ourselves is the developer platform for Web3, right? And if you use an NFT, if you're using DeFi, if you're using kind of Web2 product that integrates uh, Web3, Web like all of that is powered by Alchemy. So, and why is this important? Um, the When you think about those three companies, that developer platform, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, there's 250 million companies in the world, that is one tiny piece of one sector of one segment. But, you know, those companies are the three most valuable on the planet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if crypto becomes even a fraction size of the internet, we have a chance to build something really impactful. Guys, so, crypto already is a trillion dollar market. At its height, it was a three trillion dollar market. It did dip a little bit under a trillion. It's recaptured the trillion yeah. dollar market already. And Alchemy is not just a Web3 unicorn, it's actually a Web3 decacon. Now that's that's an amazing journey. And 16 months from launch to becoming a decacon is no easy feat for any company, but also it speaks volumes to the shift in direction with Web3. So far in the past decade, conversations have centered around cryptocurrencies, but now we are looking at an era of building things that yeah. are decentralized. Yep. What are you most excited about? You know, the, there are a plethora of things that Alchemy yeah. powers, including platforms like OpenSea that yeah. you know, we have all seen. And a lot of people know about these front-end platforms, but they don't know about the back-end, which is what Alchemy is. And Alchemy's mission is to onboard a billion people to Web3. And guys, yeah. we need a billion people in Web3. Like, TikTok has a billion users. Yeah. But last year, we only had 84 million active Web3 wallets. Yeah. Alchemy's mission is, we are going to get a billion people on Web3 by onboarding the developers. Yep. So what are some of those next billion Product. user onboarding products yeah. that you think Alchemy would be built on top of Alchemy? Totally. That's a great question. I think there's two categ broad categories, and, and this is how I split them up. One is Web3 native product. Mm -hmm. So as we make decentralized finance, NFTs, these kind of products more accessible, um, I think we'll see a much larger user base come in and be able to use those, those applications. The second, second kind of category is Web2 enterprises that are deploying crypto native products to their, to their um, uh, user bases. So for example, you know, everything from banks to companies like Robinhood to companies like Shopify that are, that are doing token gating, like these kind of these kind of products. Or even even if you look at companies like Facebook, right, who, who paused, they paused their um, their crypto stuff. But, you know, this concept that they have billions of users and they can turn on NFTs or, uh, you know, token gating or whatever it is to billions of users is really exciting because basically it, they've already bootstrapped a large user base and we can just bring those people to to crypto so that that is honestly a very exciting thing that we're seeing that was not happening in 2018 that is happening now in 2018 after the recession most of these web2 companies cut all their crypto stuff and now we're seeing actually web2 companies lean in so folks web3 by itself is a technology stack the way we look at it right yeah. it provides you with a decentralized platform and i am very excited in fact to see what things we could build on a true decentralized chain because by itself, you know, a decentralized uh, data, a decentralized technology offers ledger out of the box, along with a lot yeah. of other functions that you can easily build on top of. Yeah. The shift in enterprises, right? Yeah. We just spoke about Facebook, 
about Meta. Yeah. And uh, we also know that Google has a huge blockchain. In fact, even McKinsey, Deloitte, all of these big four consulting companies as well, they have now digital assets yeah. practices established, right? Yeah. And the focus is not so much on, hey, here is a new crypto token, but the focus is on building on top of these decentralized stacks. Yep. Tell me which is one of your favorite babies that you're seeing being built on Alchemy that you're really excited about and why? In terms of projects or chains? In terms of oh, both. You know, you could probably give me a reference yeah. to both. I think one of the things that's really exciting to me is seeing how the, the, in, in the United States, a lot of crypto is for investing, but in the rest of the world where you have really unstable currencies, right? You have a lot of countries in South America and the Middle East where you have crazy inflation and you know yes. who knows the u.s might be having that soon given all the money printing but argentina and venezuela guys this year had over 100 percent inflation yeah. argentina was probably 200 yeah exactly right and for a lot of these a lot of these people like you know it's really cool for us to hear the stories of we power exchanges that uh one of our uh one of our pms was talking to one of the one of the users that that uses exchange it's like this guy in Africa, literally, for us, DeFi is a way to invest and make money or on Yield Farm or whatever it is. Okay. But they, they literally, this guy takes his, uh, puts his money in DeFi, uh, borrows money out to buy groceries, uh, and then pays that back. So, like, that is his means of having a stable currency. And it's like, holy cow, that's such a cool um, thing to see that this is literally having the, the, the effect that, that Bitcoin in the early days was, was meant to have, which is like a stable currency, not manipulated by the government. So um, I think just seeing the concrete use cases take off. And one of, one of the things I like to I like to tell the story, which is um, to me, it's called like the WhatsApp effect, right? Nice. When, I, when I was in college, I played Frisbee. I went to Ultimate Frisbee. I went to this game and I met this guy and I was like, oh, you should come to this other game that I go to. And he's like, oh, my work's around here. And, and I asked, and I said, where do you work? He said, what's up? I was like, what do you do? He's like, oh, you know, whatever. Sometimes sweep the floors. And I was like, you're the founder. Right? He was like, yeah. So, so, you know, but to me at the time, I didn't get WhatsApp. I was like, I have free texting. Uh, all my friends live in the U.S. Why would anyone use this app, right? But then you realize the rest of the world, texting is really expensive. Data is really expensive. Everyone, yeah. Your friends live in different countries. It's just, you can't, you can't do that, right? Group texting doesn't work. So basically, uh, and, you know, we all, we all have iPhones. Everyone uh, in the rest of the world has Androids. And, and I think that's this kind of concept around finance. Uh, if you're in America and you ha you are have like a tech job or whatever, it's a you have a banking system that has mostly worked for you. Of course, like ignoring the inflation, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's really hard to understand how big of a deal it is to people in other countries. So I think I think as we see more and more of that, um, it it just kind of gets me really excited about the potential this has to really positively impact lives. Folks, if you want to look up more information on what Nikhil has shared, you know, go and look at the story of how digital. A digital USDC, which is a digital stable coin, is being adopted in Nigeria. The value of Naira has been continuing to fall. And in yeah. Nigeria, we now have platforms where USDC is what people are using to actually save their money. Yeah. You might think, why not US dollars? It's actually very expensive. Yeah, you, it's hard to convert. And you yes. can't, they have capital controls and all these things. They have capital controls. It's yeah. very hard. There are a lot of barriers to entries to even just convert your currency from, let's say, Naira to US dollar. Nikhil, yeah. you know, in your mission, staying true to onboarding a billion people, yeah. Alchemy actually does a lot of academic work, right? Yeah. We've partnered with a lot of other foundations that we know of yeah. that are providing onboarding to developers. For the builders and developers out there who are looking to get their toes wet in yeah. crypto or in Web3, right? And they are looking for a platform to build on. Yeah. What kind of resources are available at yeah. Alchemy? Um, so, well, great question. Uh, a lot of different things across the board. Our whole mission is to help people build apps. So some of the things that are, I think are probably most uh, relevant. Number one is we have free Alchemy University. You can learn how to code, how to code in Web3 completely for free. It was a course that typically cost thousands of dollars before, four to $5,000, and people were getting full-time jobs out of it. We actually went and bought that company and said, we're just gonna give it away for free. Um, so that was the first thing. The second thing is we do have a, a venture fund um, that invests. And if you're an entrepreneur trying to get started or just building something Web3, we're happy to support. Um, and if you're a little earlier stage and trying to figure stuff out, we actually have a $25 million grants program where we just give grants to developers to build, um, to support the ecosystem. And I think finally, we have a very, very large free tier. You can actually like run, we have a, a service at Alchemy that obviously people pay for, but we have a very generous free offering and you can actually run entire companies off the free tier. Um, and we, we intentionally did that because we said, we need to help this next generation of builders and make it affordable for people around the globe. So ladies and gentlemen, again, that was Nikhil. And as we yeah. uh, 
as we just spoke about, you know, he has not just built an amazing platform for enterprises to build on top of, but for every individual out there who wants to build on Web3. Because Web3 is all about democratizing yep. access and opportunities to everyone. And Nikhil, thank you so much for joining us today here yeah. at Tycon. And we can't wait for Alchemy to be, you know, grow to the next 100 billion and then to a trillion dollar company. Because the most important part is that you are helping everyone else grow with yeah. you. And those are the principles of Web3 that we really honor, respect, and lots of respect for you for doing this even in 10 years. A lot of people oh, cannot do this in their lifetime. Thank you so much. You've done it for yourself and you've done it for a lot of others. Is there any call to action for the people out there listening to you? Yeah. Um, well, first off, thank you for having me. Very grateful to be here. Um, definitely a huge team effort. I had a very small part to play in this. But um, yeah, I think reach out to us. You know, see, Let us know if we can help in any way. If you're building on Web3, uh, come apply to the grants program and we'd love to help, help you get started on your journey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.